So, I've been hearing left and right on just how busted the Kensa sloshing machine really is. And that's what this video is actually all about. It's just me trying to figure out whether that's the truth or not. I mean, I only touched this weapon just a few times, so... I'm not for sure myself whether if that's the truth, but I'm gonna assume it probably is in some way. But, um, yeah. And it's mostly from the main weapon and the sub-weapon itself. The fizzy bomb is still really strong. <laughs> then you have those situations. Okay, come on. Let's just keep moving. I mean, I'm not sure how busted it is in particular. Um, tower control? But I mean, it exists for tower control. Then again, I could totally imagine it being this thing where if I'm using the sloshing machine in general, everyone's gonna be like, "Oh, you're such a such a weirdo for using a weapon that is so good at killing people." And it's just, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I still have my beliefs for why this weapon isn't necessarily overpowered, but. I do understand why it is really strong, but this isn't a weapon that someone's just gonna pick up and be like, oh, well, I'm a master, because all I did was pick up the weapon, and now I'm, like, killing everyone in, like, C+, or something. Like, it's not gonna be one of those things where a C+, user is gonna pick it up and immediately be a master at this game. They're still gonna take, it's still gonna take some learning, especially with the fizzy bomb. But I do understand where they're coming from when people are saying that this is strong. Like, really strong. I mean, I am killing everyone in sight, so. <laughs> also, funny thing is, I'm playing it in the uh, 4.3.1 patch, so the Kansas Sloshing Machine still hasn't been touched yet. There's going to be the 4.4 patch where it takes 190 points to fill up the gauge, but right now I'm playing the patch where it only takes 170. Which, now that I'm saying that, is kind of hilarious since this weapon isn't really... Well, this weapon is really good at turfing regardless, so it's just like... Alright, well, that splashdown literally pushed me, so that's absolutely wonderful. And yeah. Now... Actually, what I'm thinking about, I don't know what I'm thinking about, how are they going to properly nerf the fizzy bomb? I mean, I can, I can imagine that they're giving it like this uh, nerf where it doesn't turf as great as it does right now. But I mean, if they ever do nerf the fizzy bomb, how would they fairly nerf it? Like nerf it in a way where they don't literally kill it. Because, I mean, they nerfed the ballpoint spot link to where they just completely killed it. I mean, even though that this isn't the... Uh, patch right now where the ballpoint splatling is killed, but, um, still. I mean, they nerfed the damage, and they got, and the new Vaux now takes 230 points to fill up the gauge, <laughs> and then Nintendo over here would be like, what's wrong with the sloshing machine? We're not gonna nerf, we're only gonna nerf how many points it takes to get it splashed down. I mean, look at that, if I can still reach the Splatter Shot Pro, and, um, kill it, then I think that's the problem. Maybe they could... Well, I'm thinking that they should just nerf the radius of its hitbox. That's what I'm thinking. They just need to nerf the radius of the hitbox with this, uh... Sloshing machine in particular. Because admittedly, not only is it a mid to long range weapon... But the fact that it has its own, uh, janked hitbox, it just makes it really strong, so it's just like... Yeah, it's- it is the Rapid Blaster of Sloshers. Maybe even better. Oh, whoops. Huh, 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 huh,
Oh boy, alright, that's just great. Uh oh, seems like they are, uh, oh wait, they haven't even pushed, for oh wait, wait, they're doing it now, they're doing it now. They're doing it now. Give them a sec, they're doing it now. Okay, never mind, we won. <laughs> Just as I say it, we, uh, just, just take it like a cake. Like, you know what I'm saying? Just take it like a cake, man. Just, oh my goodness. It's just wonderful. And the fact that I have the most amount of effort is a little concerning. I think this weapon is really strong. Hmm. Interesting. Alright, let's go for this match. Let's take the victory like a cake again for seemingly no reason whatsoever All right, well, this is this already looks like a really strange team <laughs> You know and the more that I'm thinking about it I think it's really funny how it's just like, you know, you still have people who think that you there's the um, What was I gonna say you have people who think the clash blaster is overpowered you have the people who um think the uh, end zap is overpowered, you have people who think the hydra's button is overpowered, and now that I'm playing with this weapon, or now that I'm hearing a bunch of people saying the Kansas Sloshing Machine is amazing, now I'm just like, if you think the Rapid Blaster is overpowered, the Clash Blaster is overpowered, the end zap is overpowered, the Hydra Slotling is overpowered, if you think those weapons are overpowered, you have not seen the Sloshing Machine in particular. Just any one of them. It could literally be any one. Even the most unused one, which is a Neo one, it could be any one of them. If you think the Clash Blaster of the Hydra Spotlight is overpowered, you have not seen the Sloshing Machine. Because, I mean, even though this isn't a weapon that's directly overpowered, but it's a weapon that, if you want to call it overpowered, you kind of have permission to. Because, I mean, when people call the Clash Blaster overpowered, I kind of just look at them just be like, yo, come on, are you really that bad at this game that you're going to call the Clash Blaster overpowered, aka one of the weapons that have the lowest range in the game? But then you have the Sloshing Machine, and that's reasonable because that's actually a strong, this is a pretty strong weapon. I mean, then again, this is coming from the dude who's actually now playing with the Sloshing Machine. Still, though, this, this weapon is, uh... It's a killing machine. <laughs> Maybe that's why it's called a sloshing machine. Not just because it's a washing machine, because it's actually really lethal. Oh, I was gonna use my splashdown, but then there was a roller. <laughs> uh. you know, the, now that I'm making this video, I'm starting to realize something. For those of you people who still think that there are certain weapons that are overpowered, I just need you to do me a favor and just take a break, stop watching this video, and admit you're not good at the game. If you have your list of weapons, and you have this one weapon that you say is overpowered, you need to put the you just need to put the game down right now, and you need to start thinking about your life. Because I'm just gonna tell you right now, there is no weapon that's so broken that you can pick it up and immediately be the, bless the best player in the game. Because I can assure you, if there's a weapon that is so overpowered and you're using it and you're not destroying everyone, then it's not overpowered. It just means you're bad. Another note that I would like to come across, a weapon that I believe is very overpowered is one, a weapon that is so good that anyone can pick it up and be automatically the best in the game. Two, um, when every when so many games consistently, regardless of how bad or good you are, I think that's actually the same reason as reason number one. And three, it's gotta be a weapon that everyone loves. If it isn't, then what's the point of calling it overpowered if it doesn't fit any of the three things I just said? I mean, I am playing with this amazingly powerful weapon. I'm not immediately winning. Heck, if anything, we're kind of losing this match right now. I mean, there, you can still name a few weapons that can still probably counter this weapon. But I think the reason why 
this sloshing machine is really good is because it counters many, many, many other weapons in the game. It's kind of like, um... It's kind of like Krom's situation in Smash Bros. Ultimate right now. Like, Krom is incredibly good. Counters a lot of characters because of his, you know, janked up sword and stuff. And I mean, the, you can still find counter picks for Krom, there's just not that many. Oh my goodness, okay. Oh, he has Ninja Squid, no wonder why I couldn't track him. Okay, so we killed practically everyone. There's a roller still on the loose. We're pretty we pretty much lost. Unless we're gonna get this incredibly huge overtime comeback. Which I don't guarantee is gonna happen. Especially since no one was on the tower. <laughs> wow, okay. And yeah. <laughs> well, mm, that, that, this was a thing, and uh, yeah, but I mean, you guys do what you want. I'm gonna play with this quote-unquote busted weapon a little bit longer.